Champion Beauties, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a um, Dooney and Burke um, unboxing for you from shopgoodwill.com. I know, I know. I'm, not, I'm supposed to be on timeout. I was on timeout. It's just the, the magic of editing where it looks like I'm not. Um, I took a little break, but um, when I went back in, head, <laughs> head strong. So... Um, they had a lot of good of good items in that a uh, couple of days and I just couldn't pass them up this is a Dooney and Burke uh, pebble leather um, contrast stitch zip shoulder bag I don't know if that's the right word here here's how they how they package this one if that's the right word if that's the right name of the bag because um, I think sometimes if they can't find it, they just kind of describe the bag. Um, but it is pebble leather. It is black. It's got it's got a um, silver hardware. It's kind of a hobo bag, looks like. Oh, look at that. And it's one of these older um ducks this one's orange i have one that's like a, a light blue but i haven't had one like that this is another one that has this fantastic strap look at that so i figured it it says it's a shoulder bag but i figured um i would use it as a top handle i don't know if um i can't really tell if it's adjustable it doesn't look adjustable well yeah it does but it's one of these that it, it's it's here on the side. So let me just show you this part. She's actually very pretty. Here's the front. Here's the side. Here's the back. The other side. The front is the um, Dooney and Burke 1975 is what it has in there. Uh, it's embossed here. Let's see if we can look at the inside. It's just a plain hand type of a um, lining. And she's got the one side pocket in the back here, a slip pocket rather. She's got one teeny tiny, which it looks like for those old fashioned small phones. And there, she's got the key fob and this is a short one and let me see if I can bring out yes here let's see, let's see. here's her tag sorry with the clunking of the uh, let's see if I can get it up get a better angle of it okay 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 here we go so here is the Junior Burke label right there with the numbers on the back and She's cute. She's kind of a shape of a coach um, Soho bag, kind of that little hobo type of style bag. Okay, so what I was saying here is, let's look on the side here. Uh, this is the part here that comes undone. But to make it longer, it's just, there's only one more. Let me see, yeah, that's too, too too tight let's let me see if i can undo it uh, they didn't really like those little knob things back then uh, you've got it's got a slit see here it's got a slit that you slide it into the slit and then you slide it into the hole uh, my fingers just don't don't work i might have to get the hubby to help me Okay, I say that and then I'll see if I'm determined to try to get it. Mm. This one's a hard one. Okay. I'm gonna mess with them and I'll just cut out if, it, if I can't get it right away. Maybe if I unzip it and then I can push from the front and the back. So this, I would, 
I think if you have stronger pincer skills and you don't have the issues I have, you probably can do it a lot easier because it's just, for me, it's just so hard. There we go. Ah, I got it. I don't know how much of a length that gave me, but it did move it a little bit. And how was this? And this is just slipped back into the little me there. There we go. Okay. okay, I got one side now. Let me see how long did I take? Five hours to get one side and see how long it takes me to do the other side. I was able to pull it off easy, but it's trying to get it feeded back through that little hole. Um, it's not very small. It's just that I can't. My fingers just are not strong enough. Oh, can I borrow some of these fingers? Come on. We're almost there. Here's the hubster when you need him. Oh, okay. It helped when I pushed from the inside and the outside, right? See? See, I already forgot. Like two seconds and already forgot how I did it. Let me do it with my stronger hand. Okay, okay. Almost there. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yay! I did it. Okay, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but, um, okay, how did I, how does this work? Do that through there, right? All right. This is not in a good spot up here. It's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to find a better spot for that. But, a shoulder back, yeah, so it's not, I mean, I have to force it on there, and it's right up, up in my armpit there, but um, it's a chic looking bag. This is definitely would be a top handle bag that I would use as a top handle bag. Let me zip her up. And she has that little tail. That was kind of the, the style back then where they had that little longer tail on the zipper. Um, the She's in good shape. The leather is very soft, and here's the embroidered there. These, these, um, the little heart, the hardware there. That's what you hear it clanking. But that is just kind of rock and rollish, you know, very, very chic, very cool looking. I like that. She's a keeper. I like that. So she was um, sixteen dollars. Not bad at all, 16 bucks. Yep, $16 was my bid, uh, my winning bid, $1.94 tax, $7.50 shipping. Shipping was very reasonable, um, $25.44. That's not bad at all. That is like excellent for this, the quality of this bag. It has the white stitching outlining it. I kind of, I kind of went full force with the black. Um, you know, really hadn't, really was not a black purse kind of girl because of the animals. But I found those storage bins and I thought, okay, well I can at least keep them um, cleaned off in between uses. And um, this is cute, I like that. Uh, I just, she needs to be stuffed though. Let me see if there's anything I can stuff her with. Let's try this to kind of keep her shape. Okay. <clears throat> that does a little bit better, right? Gives her a little bit better shape. Yeah, there you go. There, she doesn't look so flat. All right, what do you think? Front, side, back, other side, and the bottom. See how it kind of, um, I think that it kind of um, does a little indention there, kind of like a TP on both, does it on both sides. I like that. I like how it's, how it's hanging the, the shoulder strap and, and everything. I like this bag. They made lots of great bags back in the day. Where was I? 1975, 69, 70. I was six years old. 
if that's when it was made. I don't know. Or is that when Junie and Burke was created? I have no idea. Who knows? I need to do some research and see if I can find her. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. Give me give me a, a comment down below and let me know if y'all know um, around what year she was um, showcased in um, Junie and Burke and that they made her. And in the meantime, I'm just going to, she's got a little areas that need to be cleaned up and I'll clean her up and you'll be seeing her on my Instagram. So you can find me on Instagram at Bean Beauty Bags It. Just um, search Bean Beauty Bags It and follow me over there. And um, I try to showcase my unboxings over there um, when I use them. And you can also reach me via email for any information, chit chat, opportunities, whatever, at um, Bean Beauty Bags It at um, yahoo.com. Alrighty. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>